you know, if you consider yourself a, um, a person that likes things of top shelf, uh, Fish Lab, actually the BBZ line to be specific, has three new things out that, well, they consider top shelf, and by looking at them, I consider them top shelf too by the, by the amount of design and, you know, what went into creating these things. And Will, from Fish Lab, has yeah. more to tell us about that. What do you got for us, Will? Well, you know, the crazy thing is I've been in the fishing industry for a long time. The Fisherman Magazine, one of my favorite, even though I'm from the West Coast, mm -hmm. you guys always bring incredible content for the anglers and stuff. Well, that's to learn great how to, to hear that you, where you're on the West Coast too. Yeah, so you know, you know, I have the magazine and what's neat is we're all a community and we love fishing. It doesn't matter if you're fishing skinny water to deep, brackish to clear, you know, the Fisherman's Magazine, it brings a lot of content, but you guys are striper fishing on the East Coast. You're fishing big saltwater fish, big red, big snook. So last year I got a hold of, you know, Fish Lab. We, we partnered up to start bringing out some cool baits. The biggest thing was is we wanted to kind of change the industry. First of all, taking illusion baits to realism. Everybody's talking about matching the hatch. If you're gonna go out there and throw net and get some bunker or shad, or you're gonna pin on a, you know, a, a shrimp or something like that, you're trying to create the realism that the fish are eating. Right. So we want to take it. Well, guess what? One of the baits out there that's really well known, that is a forage for every species across the U.S. and the world, rats. If you really think about it, you go in the shallow water over in the salt, you have any rock riprap, there's rats there. Yeah. Rats swim. They, they haul butt. They go underwater. They go across the water. So what we wanted to do is rethink top water and build the first buzz bait rat from fish lab so this is a bbz bio rat it comes in two sizes a seven and a half and a ten inch the crazy thing about that when you look at top water if you guys buzz bait fish even in salt water you're doing stuff to call fish up especially like big red fish and snook and stuff where you're doing the big poppers and stuff right we wanted to do a double buzz bait system where not only can you dead stick this you could slow roll it with a double weight prop. You could spilt, speed it up faster. You could actually do a rooster tail off these baits. You could rip it, and when you rip it, you're going to have a deep, girly sound that actually shoots water two to three foot in front of these baits. Really now? So you're going to be able to call these fish up in skinny water or deep. And the craziest part, you could do that, and if you're good at knowing how to walk the dog, these will walk the dog in place too. So they can do a number of different things. So multifunctional, and that's okay. the biggest thing when you're looking at baits and fishing, striper fishing, red, snook, you know, triple tails, all these fish that are eating baits like this on top right. water. This is a cool thing. So the crazy part about this too is in Fish Lab, we want to try to get baits out there that's reasonably priced. You know, the Fisherman Magazine is about giving education and stuff for people starting and seasoned pros, right? right. Right. But you also want to get baits out there that they can afford. So the funny thing when you say that, you know, with the rats, you mentioned the rocks. I striper fish. See, here it comes. I, I fish at night a lot. And how many times where I get, you guys see the rats running across the rocks. I mean, they got to be going to, you know, on a calm night going to water. And, Absolutely. And not just that scenario, you know, up in, you know, New Jersey, Delaware. Um, they musky fish over there too. Oh, and, I mean, Lord. musky with these, you know, that's that's a home run. It, it's a home run. You know, and even back on Long Island, for me, and you're off in New England yeah. as well, they have big, large mouth bass fisheries. Right. A lot of people don't even talk about. And again, these baits will perform there. Yeah, and the, and that's the thing. It's the secret. People don't understand. You know how many people are getting back out there reading your magazine? They're going out night fishing in float tubes, kayaks, yes. top water buzz bait, old school like a jitterbug and everything else that creates the sound. I know the jitterbug. So people don't understand that when we have the science to the strike, we're really, we really are trying to look for the detail. I mean, if you look at, those are actually rat feet on the I back. I see that. So we're looking at rat feet. We're looking at the fine detail of a bait down to the mean aggressive look nostril eyes ears fingernails painted we have the great colors and the cool thing about the colors is i wanted flat matte colors yeah because when you look at animals hair and stuff when they're out they're dry right they're dry colored they have a matte finish when they put it in water they the water creates the sheen and the thing so even to the paint jobs there's a reason for every I step mean, we're taking fish on lab this. truly didn't skimp on the we detail when it came to a life like no on no like, oh. super sharp sticky hooks bkk i love the bkks yeah so so you look at it now here's the crazy part when you start putting together knowledge which you guys have for knowledge for the fisherman magazine you have a group of guys that love fishing 
and each one of you bring a, a component to the table. And with that, you're looking at the team over there at the Fisherman Magazine, you might have one, 200 years of knowledge that you're putting together and you're giving out to the public. Right. So our team over at Fish Lab, you know, I got 30, 40 years fishing big baits and designing. Mike Bennett does, he day over in Japan. We're bringing all of our knowledge to a product and really doing the best we can and then giving it to anglers at affordable price. Would you be surprised that this bait, if it was custom and somebody else did it, they could be charging 100 bucks? Absolutely, I've seen it before. 21.99. Wow. 24.99. Okay. Comes with three tails, so if you do go musky fishing, simple toothpick, you pop it out, you put a brand new tail in it, it's in the box, Easy enough. you're ready to rock and roll. Yeah. So that's just part of it, but we do actually have two other baits that I think your subscribers and the people that follow you and like you said, you guys have smallmouth fishing up there that people are keeping secret. They, they're keeping it secret. I know because they call me. There's a little smallmouth. There, there's some big, largemouth. There's great stripers. Mm -hmm. There's great musky. Yeah. You know, and then you have your entire saltwater fish. Everything you know right. out there. So the biggest thing last year is we talked about. We had anglers come up and they go, Bill, we know you're a swim bait guy doing a bunch of stuff. What did you do in California? Well, I was a guide years ago. And I was throw netting and doing all the stuff for little threadfin shad. Right. But you come over from Florida, you get out here in the Keys, you get in some skinny water. Guess what? They're throwing that in. They're getting little bunkers. They're getting little bait fish. Immediately you pick this up. I, <laughs> I, I think I, peanut, I think peanut bunker. Yeah. You know, I mean that is. And you know, September when the peanut bunker come rolling. They're through, small. The smaller bait. This is what the stripers are feeding on. This is what yeah. the weak fish are feeding on. This is what the blue fish are. The fluke feed on this too. Absolutely. But this, this exact profile here imitates a peanut bunker to the T. To the T. Which is very cool. And the cool part is, it also mimics a thread from shad. Mm -hmm. So when you start looking at realism, when you start hitting the right signatures of a bait, length, height, profile, action, that's where you're taking things to a new level. So what I did is I built a four inch shad before from another company, but only had one hook. Right. I wanted to increase it. A lot of the anglers come up to us last year at Florida and said, hey, can you build a, a swim bait that runs in that eight inch of water? We want to catch monster snooks, we're going to catch reds, we're going to catch a lot of these fish coming up in the bracket stuff. Can you build something? I go, yeah, I have already have in mind. It's, it's ready. So we came out with a four inch bait, weighs about approximately a half an ounce, comes with two black BKK nickel hooks, a four and a three short shank, so they don't marry. The bill itself, we're con calling it a crankbait, but with any bait and understanding hydrodynamics on how it swims, you need equal amount of water on both sides of the bait to make it kick. So I'm telling you some secret stuff. Well, I fish in such skinny water and I fish so close to stuff like block walls, bluffs, buoys and stuff that if you don't have enough water on one side, some baits that don't have bills will, will flounder. Right. They won't fish right. This tuning bill basically will keep this thing running straight at all speeds. Slow to super fast, it won't blow out on you, and you can get it across the docks, the bluff wall, the rock rip raft, the dams that the fish are actually using as a dinner plate and eating against. Yeah. The other cool thing, this thing goes down about eight inches. Okay. So this is like pinning on what you call it a a, a peanut butter? What was the peanut bunkers? Peanut butter. I thought he said PB and J. I'm like, oh, well, mad. I, that, I, right I, I said that's our favorite on the water food. But we do threadfin shad where we put a nose hook on it and a split shot, and they yes. go about eight inches underwater and they just cruise. This would be a bad bait killer for stripers. Stripers. On peanut bunker, they will devour. They were devoured. 100%. So it'll go down eight inches. The cool thing is, it's a rate of rise. So what happens, it's a slow rate of rise. So going eight inches to the surface, it's gonna take about five to six seconds. So it's right there, just shy of being suspended. That means you can increase the hook, like a two X hooks if you want to, a uh, little piece of a suspend dot on it, you can get it to suspend. So this bait is right at that thing, it's very customizable, right. but it's very versatile across the board and the colors are spot on. Now, you're a big time fisherman, guys out there, you know, the Fisherman Magazine, we're not, I'm not fooling you. There's guys that always look for a bait that works really good and they want their buddies to paint it. Hey, we're gonna paint this bait for you. We're gonna charge you 15 to 20 bucks for a custom paint job. We went into the detail of these paint jobs. So basically a bait like this is $16.99. You're getting a custom paint job. Pick up that bone, I'm gonna, the bone, we're gonna show you the bone. I'm telling you, any brackish water, striper, redfish. I love bone. 
dude, this That's is one of my favorite colors. This thing is Absolutely beautiful. One of my favorite colors. And you can get charged 15 bucks for somebody to hand paint that, and basically you're getting the lure for free with That's Fish awesome. Lab. So that was part one. Now there's one more bait here. Yeah, well. And that mimics a lot of bait on there yes. too. Well, that's the thing is, I'm I'm all kinds of fishermen. I'm from the West Coast. We do a lot of ocean fishing. I do big striper fishing. I come back here and I film and I do a lot of stuff. So I'm very versatile. That that's why the Fisherman Magazine. I kid you not. I read about it because there's techniques and stuff that you guys are showing that cross boundaries. A lot of people on the West Coast. They're not thinking outside the box like you guys are, and a lot of times, vice versa. So that's why I always... Changeable technique. Yes, so I want to be always like on that cutting edge. So the biggest thing is, is the last few years, there's been a big push on like gizzard shad. But there's also the big bunkers. There's there's baits that cross over that I'm well, already I, thinking I've about. I've seen gizzard shad in my area too. Yes. As well as bunkers. Yeah. So this does mimic both those baits. Yes, it does. Yeah. So we have the new six inch BBZ gizzard shad because that's a big push in the Midwest, you know, and back where I'm at in the West Coast. But automatically I'm thinking, you know, Florida, you know, the whole East Coast, everything else. So you got a six inch bait, still have a soft PVC tail, so this is super durable. It's not like a broom tail where they cut it, where you can't get the paint jobs to come through the entire body and have the most natural looking type of Again, bait out there. Again, little detail, it comes out to detail. Detail, I mean, I am a detail guy. I can tell, this is a lot of detail on this. BKK hooks, one out black nickel in front, size one in the back. This weighs about two and a half ounces, and the reason why we wanted a slow sinking bait that drops approximately one foot every two seconds with 25 pound string. So this thing's gonna fly a little bit when you cast it. Dude, you could throw this, and that's the biggest thing. When you guys are chasing stripers off the beach or you're, you're, you're going after Sometimes them, Sometimes you need that distance a little bit. You need, you you need, need to wing it, so yes, this bait will do that, and especially with the salinity of salt water <laughs> to fresh water, that slow sinking capability is gonna make this still track true mm -hmm. at a faster speed, so sometimes you need to really get up and go to get these fish right. going. But the detail on this bait, when you're looking at another type of bait on the market, you know, you could be getting charged for a custom bait, 40 to 60, 40 to 70 dollars. Right. We want to get anglers, the Fisherman Magazine, we want to get anglers in the West Coast, we want to get anglers across the U.S., especially the youth, 22 dollars retail. So we're looking at trying to give the best quality bait with the best components to catch all kinds of fish. Right. Stripers, like I said, big red, large mouth, small mouth, musky will destroy this and the cool thing about weighted baits which is a secret a lot of guys don't know you have a good weighted bait that runs true you can put your wire on it and that way you can chase the muskies and pike and the bait's going to still track true and swim but you're not going to lose your bait because you don't have enough leader on there for sharp teeth right so there's a lot of thought like i said into these baits oh Ow, and the hooks are the hooks are so just an example I mean, of those BKK hooks. BKK, I just got hooked on fishing here at the Fish Lab booth, you know, talking in the Fisherman magazine. We're serious here. We're serious about it. We, I don't want to, I got to get rid of that. <laughs> well, in conclusion, you got three new baits on Fish Lab. Yeah. Top shelf baits. Top shelf. At a quality price. At a, a lower price. At a, 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 reason, price. a reasonable, a reasonable price. price. And what we're doing is we're getting rid of illusion to realism in baits. That makes it more easier to use in any technique or any fish that you're targeting because these bait, these fish don't have to think anymore. They know it's real, they're going to eat it, right. and the fishermen can afford to use it now. Well, Bill, you know a lot about these, and I can tell you're very passionate about these, and for good reason, too. Right. I appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Thank fish. you, buddy. Thank you. I clean, we cleaned yeah. off the blood, man. We're not blood brothers, but we are. <laughs> That's how fishermen are. We're fishermen. We're all blood, blood yeah. brothers. We'll catch you next time out on the water, guys.